All right, so welcome to this lecture. On this lecture, we're going to go through how to configure uh, the switch ports in an easy way. So let's see here, we have the demo lab. Let's go to San Francisco, then switches. So here we have a couple of switches, as we see. Now let's say we want to configure, let's go to the switch here, first and foremost. Let's see. Right, view ports on the switch. And we get the whole menu of the switch ports. Now here we have, for example, already the uh, switch marked so it's only going to show this which which is great but uh, how do we actually put the right ports that we need so say for example one to five does that work yeah it's working pretty good actually but uh, there's also another way you can do it Let's see, we can copy this. Let's remove everything. Let's find another switch here. Right, so here we have another switch. Let's copy this. Uh, this is the name of the switch. Let's put it here. All right, I think we should have it uh, here. Yeah, we have all the ports here. Now what we can do is we enter port and then one, two, 10 there. So now we have all the, let's see if they are the correct switch here in the all the port five yeah that should be actually the same switch everywhere here so that is correct so port one two through ten is here so if we go to edit here we can see so they are including also some 10 gig ports as you can see, and 40, 40 gig ports actually. Also, here are some 10 gig ports. Let's actually go to another switch. Let's see if we can find a find an access switch, which would be a little bit easier for us. Let's see here. MS three five five twenty four core. No, we don't want a core device. Let's see. Let's go to another network that does not have core switches. Let's see if this one. Uh, let's see if London has. There. Okay. So London has some access switches. Let's go to this one here. And then we go to viewports. Great. All right. So now let's copy the switch like this. Enter port, then one, two, ten. All right, so now we have all the ports for the switch, one through ten. We could edit them all. As you see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So here's where we can enter. So this is a demo lab, so I cannot actually edit this these ports. But you get the gist. Also, one one thing that is also really great is the CDP feature here. 
So say for example, let's remove everything. Let's see if we have something interesting on the CDP. Don't have so much except the MS devices. Let's see if we can go to actually, let's go to San Francisco. Just want to see if we can see something else on the CTP neighbors except the MRs so that we can group them together and then change configuration only on them. That's also a way to do it. So as you see here we have CDP but these are only for Meraki devices. Let's see if we have something else. Got some MAC address. All right, well, let's, let's look again here somewhere. Let's see if Sydney has some uh, things here. No, okay. Well, anyways, this is how you can group them together. So let's say, for example, these uh, MAC address here are going to have a specific VLAN. So you see them here on the CDP neighborship. And then you can just do like this, like this, edit, and then configure them. Instead of trying to find the CDP or trying to find the tablets or trying to find, yeah, the devices that are running the CDP. So you can see it here in neighborship. That is very useful. Also, you have some more settings here which you can add if you need that. But apart from that, that is how you easily configure the switch ports on the MS. And that's, that was all for this lecture. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.